Hello, this is Miss Lally, and today is October 2nd on a Monday, and I'm out here just, I just come out and look over my um, leafy vegetables to see what's going on. And I was, and I'm, it's the afternoon, and I was out here earlier this morning doing this. Do you see it? Right there plucking these things off of the collard greens off of the kale um, I didn't see any on on my cabbage I did see some on some of my um, tatsoi so I've been out I was out here this morning plucking these things off and let's see what you see that I just take them, take them off, and just throw them. I don't know if throwing them is a good idea. I probably should have a jar of water out here and drown them in some dish soap. But I throw them hoping that they, I throw them far enough hoping that they can't make their way back over here to my garden. But look at that, the holes they put in my collard greens. Can I enjoy the collard greens? Can I enjoy the collard greens? So that, and the thing is, there, this morning when I came out, they're the same color as the collard greens or the kale. Now I'm over here with the kale. They're the same color or just about and they sit along. Luckily the kale has this, you know, this kind of a red vein, purple vein, more like more of a purple vein, and I can spot them. But when they're on the collard greens and the other leafy greens and they're blending in, I miss them. So I have to come out here and just sit and stare just sit and stare at the greens until I spot them and then I pluck them off and throw them as far as I can away from my leafy greens and one of the things with dealing with the caterpillars and even aphids I've had to learn to not be so um, squimish about the bugs some bugs. There are some I just I'm having a hard time getting past such as the spiders. But um coming out here ooh, look at that butterfly. Uh, I don't really care for butterflies but I'm trying. Based off of the swallowtail caterpillar which have totally disappeared off of the fennel. So now I need to be looking for chrysalis possibly but um I've had to get past being so squeamish about some of these bugs that be out here in my garden and learn to squish some of them so here the green caterpillar cabbage moth larvae I guess is tearing into my bait collar so um, I'm just gonna pluck it off and throw it I used to couldn't do this but I had to get past that and, and now I'm not bothered by it anymore I take them and throw them look at just tearing up I don't even know how, I guess I missed that one. But you saw, I mean, they're green just like the leaf, you know, and it's easy to miss them. I was out here this morning just going at it, throwing them here and throwing them because the white butter, the white moth, cabbage moth, is still out in full force. Even as I'm out here, the cabbage moth is literally, is literally flying around my garden, which now when I want to show you, they all leave. But 
that's what they do. They hang around my garden and lay their eggs and the eggs turn into caterpillars and then it's up to me to, to get out here and eyeball every leaf, every stem, and when I see them, pluck them off. Pluck off the eggs, pluck off the caterpillars. See? Let's see. Did you see that? Right there. This is on my cabbage. Yes. Savoy Ace cabbage. So, um. That got thrown somewhere. But that's what you gotta do. I'm, the only thing I ever use on my plant so far has been dish soap and neem oil. But sometimes I don't even want to do that. So I had to come out here with this and pluck and pull and throw. So now I'm checking over my tatsoi that I harvested some leaves off the other day and they have bounced back big time. And so far I don't see any caterpillars up here right now. So that's great. That's that works for me. I'm turn that camera back around. I hope that this is not upside down. Yeah, that works for me right there. Mommy, it's out here. Huh? It's out here. Yeah, yeah, well, mosquitoes have gone down. It's not that bad right now. That's my now here me. is the destruction and damage that these green caterpillars can do. This was my volunteer tatsoi that had popped up. I actually had gotten some leaves off of there. They were good. And um, they were coming back and then this is what happened. So I plucked off green caterpillars. I was going to cut the cut this, cut these off but I decided to leave them because I think the plant probably needs yeah, you can get those. I think the plant needs these stems and these leaves for photosynthesis um, purposes uh, for the plant to get have its energy or convert in sunlight into energy. So I'm going to leave these up here and let I'll them... i go over there. No, you can't go over there. Don't you see all those spider webs? You want that on you? You see the spider web on the stick. Move, go over there. Um, so I'm going to leave these up here. And hopefully the plant will recover from all of this damage. I mean, it's one, two, two of them. So I just want to update you on what's going on in my fall garden. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.